Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we looked at the Scratch 3.0 user interface. Today we're going to be discussing sprites and backdrops. They are two-dimensional or 2D images that can be added to our stage. When I say 2D images, I'm referring to flat shapes. These shapes only have width and height. Sprites are usually used to represent the character or objects in a video game. Clicking on these blue icons in the bottom right corner allows you to add sprites or backdrops. Hover the mouse over the icon to see the available options. We can choose a sprite, paint, surprise, or upload a sprite. We have similar options for backdrops. Let's choose a sprite. I'm going to choose a bat. Each sprite has its own set of costumes. Click the costumes tab to see the available costumes. Costumes are different looks or appearances for a sprite. And the first look or bat A as it is called the eyes are open and the wings are outstretched. Bat B has the wings down and the eyes open. Bat C has the wings up and the eyes shut. Bat D has the wings closed, the eyes closed, and it appears to be sleeping. The sounds tab allows us to add sounds that we may want to use with our sprite. Adding sounds is similar to adding sprites and backdrops. I haven't been able to find a sound that can be used for a bat, so we can use this cave background music. The toolbox on the left allows us to make changes to our sprite's appearance. We can grab the brush tool and give the bat a purple moustache. We can use the eraser to erase one of the ears. Clicking the reverse arrow will allow us to undo the operation. The paint bucket tool allows us to change the fill color. Feel free to play around and experiment with these different tools. This section is called the sprite's pan. As I move the sprite around the stage, the values for X and Y are going to change. The X represents the horizontal position. The Y is the vertical position. This should show you why mathematics is very important to coders. Increasing or decreasing this value will increase or decrease the size of the sprite. Changing this value will allow us to rotate the sprite. This dial is similar to a clock. If you understand angles in mathematics, you have an idea of what is happening. This is another reason why mathematics is very, very important to coding. This button here will show or hide our sprite. Finally, let's add a backdrop. I think this bat belongs in the woods. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on Scratch. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos on Scratch, please subscribe.